Good morning, Christine. Welcome, welcome. Here we are. Welcome to my coffee and cards. Good morning, Oops. Christine. Sorry, ladies. I didn't welcome, think. welcome. Whoops. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Pam. Oh, I don't have anything here. <laughs> Okay, so today, good morning, Elise. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Good morning, Catherine. Ooh, I have new people. Make sure to leave a comment so I know who was here, okay? Because let me start with my usual spiel. This is Monica Giberti with Stamping with Monica. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Stafford, Virginia, and this is my weekly coffee and cards class. And um, what's going to happen is usually I show you, I demonstrate two cards and based on the number of your uh, posts, you get to, you will be entered in the drawing for the cards that I design and show. If you share this video, and for how many times you share the video, you will be entered to win, and where I put the pattern on, oh, um, in the drawing for a Mary Hello stamp set. This week is the last week of August, so make sure you share, 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 because um, then you'll have, to, you'll have the chance to win the stamp set. I see... A uh, few familiar faces and some new one. Buongiorno, Betty. This is my Italian friend, so I'm going to say buongiorno. And um, thank you for joining me, okay? So, today I'm going to start with something that I have waited to do. Ta-da! Look what I have. I don't know if you can see it. If it is too cool. I finally took it out of my box. Just did it this morning. Okay, so this is the new. Good morning. Linda, um, um, if you're going to stick around, you know um, I need your address. Because you were the winner of the drawing for um, the cards for, I think it was uh, three weeks ago. Okay, but I need, if you want your cards, I need your um, mailing address, okay? So, ladies, you know what this is. This is the new Stamping Up die embossing and die cutting machine. You probably have seen videos galore from other demonstrators and stuff. But for me, this is the first time that I am opening it up. So, I think you can see it, right? It has the Stamping Up logo, metal on one side and the Stampin' Up! logo on the other side. Ta-da! Let me turn one set of lights on. Hold on. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. Maybe yes, maybe no. Then, um, this I need to put the handle in. Maybe I'll be able to do it or maybe not. I know there are instructions, directions. And then with the machine, you get the, um, the plates and I can open it and this is for you you've seen this so if this is a repeat for you ladies sorry but it's new for me because I'm opening it up right now and probably I'm gonna use it in my demo so we have plate number one that's the regular plate that we used to have you know nothing has changed comparing to the old machine that we had and then we have the adapting the, um, this is when we do die cutting okay so we had to add number two we have the two clear plates <laughs> they're not gonna stay this clear but you know what I love they have the logo okay and so what I will do personally do I will keep one on the bottom and that the that will be the one that I'm going to um, mark here and put one on the bottom and this is was the one that's going to stay here because the one on the top I will have to rotate to keep it as flat as possible and I guess this is the um, the replacement of this remember the blue plate that we used to have in the old um, embossing 
uh, Big Shot. So this is the replacement for that. So instead of being blue, it's this gray. Okay, nothing changed. And the way you use it is gonna be is gonna be the same. So this is uh, when we need to um, do the dies and embossing folders. This is when we have to die cut. Okay, and when we have to emboss, then we have these two or this. I think this one in here, but. We'll figure it out together because, you know, I don't like to read in the instructions. But I will need to figure out how to put this thing together. And if I am not able to do it, um, okay, hopefully I will not lose all the cards. So I think I am not, I think I'm not sure, but... This will have to go inside here, right? That's the only way to do it. And then, nah, yeah, this would be it. So stick it in there and stick one in there. And then we have this little, and I don't know how you call it, ladies, because English is not my first language. And that's going to go inside. And then we're going to just screw it in. <laughs> so if I can do it, anybody can do it. And I'm going to save this. Okay, I'm with you. I don't like to read the instruction. Yes. Okay, so let me just go ahead. Okay, there. Done. And then we have this little thing here, and we're gonna put it in, okay? And the machine is put together. I'm gonna save this little thing, put in my drawer where I keep all my other stuff. And if let me just lift a little bit my camera if I can, okay? Sorry for the mess. There you go. So now, I put it together. This is my handle. Let me open it. One and two. And it is as heavy as um, the previous machine. Okay. And steady. So, yeah, the roll. I think I read that this comparing to the old die cutting machine, it's evenly, you know, remember when we were um, die cutting? Then one part of the roller with the different pressure. From what I understand, if I remember, and if I read it right, we should not have any um, difficulty on where, you know, where we're going to put the items to be embossed or die cut. Okay. And then this goes up here. In there. Ta-da. Goes through. So I'm just going to put it to the side and use it whenever... So what I like is that it's going to be so nice. It's not going to take a bunch of room so I can put it in front of me. Okay, let me grab my the stuff that I need to start my spiel. I need this one and this one. Today I'm using, ta-da, yes, <laughs> Patrice. What's a clear, clean plate like? Yes, it is nice having a clean plate, right? Okay, so this is always crooked. And I don't know why, ladies. I am always crooked. Maybe I wrote the wrong side. I don't know. You'll excuse me. Okay, so let me go ahead and tell you what's going on. So you know about this. If anybody um, is in need of ordering anything, this is the host code for the month. Okay, and... Remember to share the video, to share the love, inviting your friends to the show. It will help me, um, you know, get out there more. Then, what I have to tell you, I have to remind you that August 31st is the last day to redeem your coupons, okay? That you accumulated with order pla orders placed in July, okay? I told you that. Um, 
So with the ordering and everything, I need to remind you about my tutorial bundle. My team already received an email um, uh, because I provide the tutorial for free for my team. And so they already have this one in their mailboxes, email, email box, and I sent it out yesterday, I think. So this is that. Uh, then what else do I have to tell you? I have to tell you that this, the, uh, the crafting retreat is sold out. No more seats available, no more um, tables available because I wanted to keep it at a lower capacity, even though the room is big, but considering that we have to put everybody with the six feet, um, um, you know, distance, safe distance and everything, I could have had 30, 40, whatever. But I maxed it out to, I think, 25. I think we're 25 of us. I don't remember. But it's going to be fun. We're going to play it safe. And I will send an email to all those that have registered with the rules and with the precautions that we would like, precautions that we would like to take personally um, and with you and with your collaboration. I think it will be a stress-free event okay but if you were not able to join the live event i have the retreat to go option and what is this basically you will receive a box inside the box you will receive the goodie bag that everybody is receiving the welcoming gifts or pillow gifts whatever you want to call them um the um, and all the supplies cut and prepped like everybody else that is there for the make and takes the make and takes these make and takes would be the one included in the fee and one thing that i need to point out and make it clear is that i will not stamp i will not send anything that is pre-stamped because by stamping up rules we cannot do that so you'll have the options to add and i will send all the details um add uh, the stamp set that we're using or you can substitute it with whatever you have already available. Okay. And I will try. I haven't designed it yet. So I haven't designed it yet. So, but what my intention is to limit the amount of stamping that will be required in the, in the project. So there will be, you know, it will be easier. And I will have a station for that to make the make and takes. I will have hand sanitizers. I will have everything precaution. And I will clean the, the blocks every single time. Whoever is going to sit at a table will have to sanitize their hands before. Just to play it safe. Make everybody at ease. Because as I said, I don't want it to be stressful for anybody. Okay? So that is all. And I forgot. Masks. And, but I send it, I will send the details. But this is your uh, a chance to get into the retreat, uh, to do the same projects and stuff. And the cost is $65. I need to change the cartridge in my... It is $65 and includes shipping. And the shipping is priority box because I will have to send big stuff in the paper and everything. And I don't want to cut it. Um, and so that would be $15 for the mailing and all the gifts inside and everything else. Okay. So make sure to contact me because I will limit the number of the boxes because it's all, only one of me doing it. Okay. So let me go on with the, um, other announcements. Um, okay. I have, I haven't done announced the winners from two weeks ago. These are the winners of the cards, so I think Deb and Pam are here. So you are the winners of the drawing for these cards. Remember the ones that I showed you? This is the fun fold and this one. So you're getting a set of each, this one and Pam. Then I also did the drawing for from last week. And remember we were I was following a um a sketch. Uh for my team meeting and the first winner is Liz Hatton she was on here she is part of a team and but she lives in Colorado so I will contact her and I just need her uh, mailing address and Linda you're here if you're here give me a thumb up uh, if you're still here 
Linda is the winner of the other set of cards as well as the ones that I Patrice already has her cards but she's also the winner for the drawing for these cards so Linda if you want to um, message me your email um, not email but your um, mailing address I'll be glad to send you the cards but I need to have them I need to have this by today otherwise I will draw somebody else's name okay uh, that's it done so Linda should she receive four cards if she wants them and this is Liz and I'm going to notify her and then I have all the other stuff I am pretty much caught up with all my mailing boy oh good Linda thank you and it's crazy by the way, if you're here, if you uh, came to my BOGO event, uh, your orders are in. And I will send you an email. Um, I packaged everything yesterday, sorted out, so everything is ready to go. And I will send you the an email, and so you can stop by and get your stuff, okay? So let me show you what I decided to work on today. Let me grab my... Um, mini catalog and what I decided to work on is this it is this no it's not this one <laughs> I guess I didn't put it on or oh, maybe it came out where is that this this is uh, yes I did mark it this is the little treats bundle okay but one of, of my intentions was to not to use it for the purpose that it was done, you know, to create boxes, but I made cards with this set because I think it's cute. You can make so many tags also with this. And I wanted to use it on tags following some um, two different uh, car sketches. One is the one uh, for tomorrow's meetings for my um, Happy Basement Stampers. We meet every Thursday at 7.30. It's our weekly chat or creative challenge. And so one sketch was chosen by Cindy. And then the other one, I found it on the... Uh, Deb, yes, I can do porch pickup for the retreat. Okay? So uh, we can discuss that. Okay? Um the only difference is that you will not be charged and in my um, emails that I send I specify that it's $15 because it's um, a flat rate box because it's um, the way the only way that I can and cheapest way that I can mail it out okay good so this one what I was going to say I forgot sorry ladies I better not pay attention to your comments until the end um, uh, oh, the other the other sketch is the Casing Tuesday um, sketch. So this is what I used. I used this bundle, and it's called Little Treat Treats Bundle, and you can get it at 10% off for $53. You get the dies. Look at these. The dies to cut. And ladies, to put this one together, I will do another show about it. No show. <laughs> this is not a show another Facebook Live, uh, putting some of these together. Um, and this doesn't need glue because these tabs will up cut uh, slits and you can slit the paper in. No need to put a, any adhesive unless you put the tags. But this one. And all the bits and pieces that you see here are fabulous. Today I used this one and this one. And I'm going to tell you a secret after. And then the stamp set is this. Little treats. Look, so many. This, I think, is going to go with, I don't know, maybe my son's wedding favors or my daughter's. So we'll see if they want it, okay? If they want it. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you what we're making. Stop blabbering. Stop blabbering. So the first one is this, okay? So this is the sketch, design sketch. Um, uh, for design sketch for the team meeting that is tomorrow, and so the secret is that I already had these 
these three parts already die cut because I created a card for a swap back then. And so I, um, um, so, a, and then, so I decided, sorry, somebody sent me a message. I better just focus here. And so these parts are I already had die cut. So I said, okay, let me just use them. And I used the sketch. So let me go ahead and do it for you. These are all the parts, and to save a little bit of a time, I just die cut it, most of it, stamp and die cut it. And you know that when I also did the swap, I used the technique that I showed you with the stamparatus. And so I die cutted these plain, and then I stuck it in the hole in there. Remember I showed you in the template, and then I stamp, stamp, stamp. So this is my favorite technique to use. Okay, so this is Garden Green, four and a fourth by eleven, scored a five and a half. There you go. And then I have a four and a four, four by five and a fourth piece of Garden Green, and that's where we're going to work on. Okay, and I am going to start. As you can see, there's a little bit of stamping there, so I'm going to grab and the colors that I used: rear red. Just Jade and Garden Green. Okay, Rear Red was stamped. Um, that's where I used for the um, present and the Santa's hat. And this is Just Jade for that. I think they all work well together. But my stamping, um, it will be stamping color on color. And I use my grit paper. Let's see if you can see nicely. Ladies, let me know if the picture is clear or not because you know it's my old phone so I'm gonna stamp off in a piece of scrap paper right here because I have too much ink on this one because I we inked it too much and I'm just gonna go and place it down here doesn't really matter okay so that's the only stamping that I have to do with that that I'm gonna take a two and a fourth circle punch and I took my ho 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 Merry Christmas and I'm going to stamp my sentiment and not to worry too much because it's a circle I can move it as long as it was centered I think that is the all all the stamping that I need to do let me clean my stamps with my lovely well used chamois you know me okay put it aside put these away and so the stamping is done I am going to work on this take my designer series paper and this comes from the pack of six by six called this the season and this is in the mini catalog and let me see if I can find it right away. I think it's at the beginning of the catalog. And by the way, the way to find all the stuff is to go in the back here where you have your... Um... So let's go find this the season to be jolly. Da -da -da -da. No, it's not time yet. <laughs> but it's here. Uh, and it's the page 31. Of the mini catalog and it goes with the mega sweet wonder of the season okay and that's right here 1150 beautiful patterns very Christmassy okay there so I decided to choose this one and I'm gonna glue it down and I'm gonna take this you know why because I can reposition it I can reposition it because I know I'm gonna go not so straight so and it doesn't matter if I am going a little bit covering voila then ladies moment of truth I'm going to emboss with the new die cutting by the way um, I need to remind everybody that this was available to demonstrators for a pre-order 
uh, during the month of August, but this will be available to everybody starting September 1st. And I read that starting September 1st, we will get also the magnet magnetic plate for this one that will be way better than the one that we had. Okay, so I took the Parisian embossing folder. This is a 3D embossing folder. So I think this is how the sandwich goes. The basic plate, this, and then I'm taking my piece of um, car stock and ladies make sure that every every time you embossed doesn't matter which machine you use but the embossing folders have a little bit of a I don't know how you call this but this is the way that you're going to make it go in so if, if I understand well we should do this but maybe not so let me read I am going to try it and if it doesn't work, I can always look. Stays within. Okay, yes. Feel like, do you hear any noise? It is so quiet. So quiet until you release the back. But it is so quiet. There is no cracking or whatever. And, ta-da, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, ladies, ta-da. I did it. First time in front of you and now I'm gonna move everything and for now I'm gonna move it because I think the only thing that I have to do oh no there's another one that I and I can move it to the side store it over there away from everything okay I did it now I'm taking again my emboss not my um, liquid um, I don't know if you heard me saying but Saturday was the day that we put together some of some of the invitation. It's only some because I need to finish the one that will go to Italy because I need to translate them in Italian because you know I think it would be nice for them to <laughs> to understand what go, goes on. And so um, this was used to glue all the bits and pieces. It was a lifesaver. This was new, but it still has a gazillion, and we made eighty. 80 so far 80 invitations okay so let me stop blabbering then I cut a piece of the um, this is the snowflake splendor ribbon and I love it because it's sheer but still has a little bit of a shine to it or glitter whatever you call it and because this is gonna go um, on dimensionals I'm gonna use dimensionals right away right here okay to secure it you know me and my dimensionals right it's like my daily bread um, because it's a staple in my stamping up arsenal of adhesive even if it is I don't know okay so there, there. I've done this part. Then I'm doing it, taking this scalloped square that I die cut it using the layering squares dies. And that will go right here. Okay. Simple and easy. Nothing fancy dandy here. Uh, probably the the part that took the most or would take the most if you do is just stamping and die cutting those but I saved a little bit of time and when I'm putting this down I want it to go like so so it looks like they're coming off of this okay my ho 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 is going down here flat and using this one again just applying a little bit because a little bit goes a long way and then there so now I can take more dimensionals ladies I washed and washed and washed this is my branding for going and <laughs> playing at the Y YMCA last night so every time I told you every time you have to approach the before you go to the uh, sand volleyball courts you have to um, have your temperature checked and 
they need if you're okay you need to have a stamp and so that's what I got but the ink doesn't come off took a shower and scrubbed and scrubbed and it's not coming off but last night was really interesting because while we were playing and my games were at 6 15 and 7 30 guess what happened what happened last night it was so bad lightning and everything so we ran away from there it was so dark and driving home was not a pleasant thing because it was a little scary on the highway on 95 um, lightning all around me and I don't like them but it was scary but in a way beautiful to see how you know when the the, the clouds were coming in it was so dark and so okay so this is that and what we need now is just a little bit of embellishments and I think I went this way down here okay and you know me and bows so this is gonna go like so and look at this beauty ties bows like I don't know what very nicely and I know I had my scissors but I threw them away no I put them somewhere but I can find the ones oh here I like these big ones that we used to sell because they cut any fabric scissors would work and guess what a card cannot be finished without a some kind of embellishment so that will go over there this will go here and this will go right there okay card number one done right here so this is the first card that I designed and I'm gonna show you what I did with this up oh, if I can find it maybe yes maybe no and so to show you the other card that I designed for a swap so I kind of used the same elements but these were already die cut so I said okay I always save extra parts and I said okay let me use them so that's the card showing you how you can use this stamp set and dies also to create create cards so let's think about uh, outside the box so this is one set of cards let me put all the stuff away and now we're moving to the other okay this can be put away to the other card and this is another sketch that i found and this is the tuesday sketch this is um and this is the other card okay okay you're talking about so this is the card that I'm going to show you how to make and this was the sketch and it's also taken from the main catalog okay simple and easy yet again we're using oh oh the swap this is the swap this is real red just jade ladies and this is um, shaded spruce and that is that okay this part is, I took it from the catalog. I took bits and pieces from designs from the catalog and I combined all of them. But this is the swap that I created. And that's it. Okay, so now we're working on Halloween. Uh, this is not too scary, right? So I'm going to emboss with the new die cut. Oh, I lost an embellishment somewhere over the rainbow. I lost one. Nope. Oh, from my thing. But I'm going to save it for later. Okay. You stay there. Never throw away your embellishments, ladies, even if they lay around, because we can always stick. Okay, so for this one, let me go ahead and take all the bits and pieces out. And I already done a little bit. Look at this. I know it's a spider, but what I like about it is that it is glimmer paper. Glimmer paper black so same four and a fourth by 11 scored in half 
simple and easy but this time we're gonna go this way and this is I think three and a half by four and a fourth it goes right there then we're gonna go like so this is gonna go like so so this is um, a sketch that I modified though I added something and let me go ahead and glue this one together and this is the designer series paper this time is the plaid masculine from oh ladies I'm still here right what happened okay I'm still on the video right so yeah I was saying that you can do um, Halloween Christmas with these masculine cards um, fall cards and uh, what else I was going to say oh um, Valentine's cards so this plaid is gorgeous 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 okay let me stop blabbering and glue this part here I could do this side but I decided to do this because I used the colors of the designer series paper and I brought them in with right here so black this is pumpkin pie and then this is what you may call it I know mango melody that is in here you see and then we have rich raspberry so I just took the colors from that now I'm going to take these two and I'm gonna start stamping okay so I have to do some stamping we're gonna do the stamping with rich raspberry first and we're taking the spider image from the stamp set see right here and this stamp set you can do birthday wishes because the presents they go Christmas and this is um, especially for you is generic because there's a flower this thank you for coming for there yep oh you can do so many things with this stamp set so the first one I went this way this way this way and then this time I'm going this way this way this it's very juicy my my ink is really juicy and I'm going to tap it here and clean it and now I'm gonna switch colors from rich raspberry to the mango melody to match the card stock and I'm going like so a little bit there these might be could be the maroon and oh Virginia Tech colors or uh, Mountain View colors right I don't know when I was steam said oops yeah, I chose some school colors because I didn't want it to be black and white, you know, all black and white or black and for Halloween. Okay, then I can clear this clean actually and I'm done stamping with my, let's set them aside and here I'm taking my sentiment, happy, happy Halloween, Halloween, hello, and I'm taking my pretty peacock and stamping in the middle of my die cut circle and I use the stitched shapes um, uh, stip shape shapes um, dies okay I think I'm done with all the stamping and I'm cleaning this too because my don't want to get anything ruined okay so put all of this away I did flat right here so I'm using my green multi liquid purpose glue because a little bit goes a long way and you can always reposition it so this is acid free like everything that stamping up cells so it's good for um, what you may call it 
scrapbooking, everything. Okay, there. Then I'm taking my little spider and I'm gonna take a small, do you notice that the backing of the glitter paper is black? How fun is that? It is black. Okay, let me put, let me do this part now. I've stamped everything there. So let's take out my die cutting machine. Boy, it's heavy. Open it up like so. Make it click. Now, I'm using the cow webs embossing folder. And this, it is another um, thick 3D because it's 3D. So I would just need the same principle as before. I will take this, I will put my paper inside, okay? I will put this one down with this part going in first, remember, taking my adapting, oh, I gotta go this way, because <laughs> I'm righty. And then there we go, let's hear some noise. Nothing. It's so, so quiet, so quiet, and I love it. Store it away, click, click, off I go. Whew. And voila, we have the embossed image. Now, white craft ink, take it and lightly go over because I want it to pop a bit. Okay, so I'm coloring with the ink directly and you can get and you can go light because you just want the ink to go on the raised part. This is a technique, simple and easy. Simple and easy. Okay? That is done. Put it away. Taking my card, and this, see how it pops? And this, I'm gonna go right so. Yay! It's simple and easy. This technique is simple, simple. Simple, simple. So as I said, now it's a matter of kind of centering it. Voila, then I'm taking this and this goes on top and I'm trying to center it side to side, but I'm putting my adhesive only on this part. No dimensionals on this one so far, but I like the fact that with the um, glue I can reposition it. So this is where it's going to go. And this is going to go like so, side to side, one inch by five and a half. And I'm just going to put it in the middle because, okay, side to side. And I can reposition it, put it down straight, somewhat straight. There we go. Done. Stick. Now I am taking... First thing that I did, I put this one in the middle because that's what I want it to be in the middle. And this is how I'm going to do it. Okay. Just took kind of middle. See how I can reposition it because I have a little bit of a leeway for a little bit. And I can play with that. And then when it's stuck, it is stuck. Then this one is going to go like so. And this one I decided to go upside down like so. Okay. So for this one, I'm just going to put it right here. This one is going to go down this way. And then try to put it down straight. Right. And this one, I'm going to just do this. And off I go. 
this is going to go up there. Can you? I'm moving stuff around here, ladies, so I apologize. And done. Done, done. Now, my Happy Halloween needs a little bit of a, of a raise here. I'm going to raise it up. I'm going to put Happy Halloween like in the middle. Like so. I'm taking my... What is this? Spider. There. And now... I need to grab this one that was running around like so. And where did I put the other embellishments? A little bit of a blink so not to not to make it too creepy or too gloomy or whatever you want to call it. And this one we're just going to put it down here. Okay, ladies. And ta-da! The other card is done. So, a little bit of Halloween from a sketch from the main catalog that I modified and whatever. So, um, this is one. And this is my Christmas version using the stamp set and the dies. This is This goes a long way. Really, really a long way. So, the the best deal is to get the bundle and then I'll do another one with um, different boxes so you can see the versatility versatility of it. Okay? Okay, ladies, so I think I'm done. Unless you ladies have questions, you can post your questions there. Remember, your sharing will enter into the drawing for this so today is the last day or unless you're watching the um watching the replay so i guess you'll have time until august 30th to put your um comment your shares in and i will draw a name and for every time you share i will enter your name okay and this will be given away based on your comments Okay, so I think it, that is all. Um, what do I want to remind you is, if you haven't done so, please go and subscribe to my um, YouTube channel. I still need a few subscribers so I can have a personalized um, link. And I'm working hard on up uploading all my videos in there. And my goal is to be able to just shoot videos on top of the ones that I do here. Just post other videos in there. Um, so if you could do that. And also, if you're not part of my Stimping with Monica group, please join. I think if you're part of the group, you get more um, more um, notification from, from Facebook. That's where it's more, more visible. So... It's just a, your way of helping me out. Okay, ladies? So this is all. This is all for now. And I thank you for being here. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And that's it. That's all that I need to do and show you. And um, thank you again. Bye. Have a great day. Bye-bye.